Facebook applies its community standards to every post that is live on the Facebook, Instagram, or audience network. But just because something meets the community standards doesn't really mean that you want your ads to show up next to it. That's where inventory filters can come in handy. They allow you to control the sensitivity level of the content around your ads. So in this video, I wanna show you what inventory filters can do, talk about the three different levels, where you can apply them in your account, and then talk about some of the content that fits into each one so you might have a better idea what's gonna work best for you. As I mentioned in the introduction, there are multiple places where inventory filters can be applied in a Facebook ads account. So we're gonna start off at the highest level, and that's gonna be at the account level in the brand suitability controls. So to navigate to that, we just need to come over to the all tools section here. And then I have it already up here in my shortcuts, but if you didn't, it should be under manage business. And right down here, the third link, brand safety and suitability. Once we click on that, it lands us right in the controls section. And the first topic they have listed here under brand suitability is going to be the inventory filter. This is what we're gonna talk about today. So just to get another definition of inventory filter, these control the type of content your ads can appear in. That means that as people are seeing your ads around the Facebook and Instagram networks, that means that you're able to control the type of content that your ads appear next to as users are in the Facebook and Instagram environments. As users are in the Facebook, Instagram, and audience network environments. You can use them to control your brand's presence on Facebook in-stream videos, ads on Facebook Reels, and ads on Instagram Reels. And the audience network has its own set of filters so you can exclude certain types of apps. Once I get off of this little bubble here, they always apply a suggested inventory level to any account, and that's always going to be a moderate level of discretion. Content that's excessively controversial or offensive is always excluded regardless of the filter that you choose. But now let's start to talk about the actual filters you have available. If we come down here to this first line item for Facebook in-stream videos and reels on Instagram and Facebook, we'll just open this up. And you can see the three different levels that you have for inventory filters around this network. First is going to be expanded inventory where your ad shows on all the content that adheres to their content monetization policies. This is going to have the widest reach. You will show up next to the most content and has the most inventory available. Moderate inventory in here in the middle, as you can see, is the default setting. There is some excluded content that might be sensitive and that's automatically done for you. And then on the far right, we have limited inventory where you exclude additional sensitive content as well as all live videos. You might be interested in why live videos. That's because Facebook can't really apply community standards to a video that is happening as it's being published. There's just too many variables. So live videos are excluded from limited inventory just in case something would pop up that doesn't fit their standards. Limited inventory, as you can imagine, will have much lower reach and might actually increase your cost efficiency on the platform because on any network like Facebook, you're paying to reach a very specific audience and you pay more per user to reach a narrower audience because it's much more focused and more specific. So using limited inventory might be a good brand guideline, but just know that your CPMs and CPCs might increase. Now that might be all well and good, but what does expanded, moderate, and limited inventory mean? Well, let's take a look. If we come down to this little box down here, there's a link under see the list so that we can know which content is excluded in each filter. If I click on that link, we now get a pop-up here that I'm not going to go through every single line item. We're gonna do just a brief overview because you can find this for yourself, figure out what makes the most sense. But as you can see up here at the top, content that is always excluded is going to include content that exploits controversial and political issues, use of illegal or recreational drugs, nudity, shocking content, misinformation, misleading medical information. All of these are going to be excluded on any filter, even expanded, so you don't need to worry about showing up next to that. But then as we keep scrolling down, all of the rest are going to have different layers. So tragedy and conflict here, you can see that under the expanded filter, anything that depicts distressing events or instances of intentionally causing major distress to others is still included in the expanded inventory. It is not in moderate and it's not in limited. So that's how you read these tables. Debated social issues is another section, as well as objectionable activity, which talks about substance use or crime, sexual or suggestive content, 
is another section here, strong language, as well as explicit content, which includes injury, gore, bodily functions, and conditions. So these are relatively vague, but there are line items for each type of content within those groups. And then if you read each column, whether it's an included or excluded from the expanded, moderate, or limited filters, that will help you focus your campaigns a lot more specifically. Now, one thing down here at the bottom, you can select an inventory filter for just the audience network. And if you don't, then the filter you choose here for the in-content ads will be applied. So if I close out of this, you'll remember that I clicked on only the Facebook in-stream videos, ads, reels, and Instagram reels. So if we leave this here, we can come down and there's a second line item for audience network. If I open this up, the filter is going to look the same, but at the top, there's a checkbox that says, keep the same setting for the audience network. That simply means whatever you've opted into in the section above will apply here. But if you want to, you can uncheck this box, then you'll be able to set expanded, moderate, or inventory filters for the audience network. Depending on how confident you feel in the inventory filters for the in-stream video ads and reels, you might automatically opt into the same one for this network or a different one. But there are different layers for the audience network, and you can use the same type of list functionality down here to see what content is excluded for each of these. The categories here are going to be different because the placement is different. So the sections here, we have commerce, which is basically any app that is focused on viewing or buying or selling products, user generated content, content sharing, dating, messaging, news, utilities, gaming, and lifestyle. The charts will read the same for expanded, moderate, and limited inventory levels for content that is excluded or excluded, so you can figure out which one makes the most sense for you. Go ahead and close out of this for now. This account has been running pretty well on moderate inventory. We've never had an issue with the default settings, so I'm gonna leave this as default for now. But one thing that I do wanna show you is that if you were to apply a different level, say we wanted to use limited inventory, I could click this link right here and apply this setting to other ad accounts. So if we click the link, now we can see that there are two additional accounts down here that I can turn on for this inventory filter if I wanted to. So this can save you a lot of time if you've run into some really big issues with certain networks, or if you're working with a company that has multiple brands and has multiple different ad accounts, you can apply the exact same inventory filters across those accounts with just an easy click of a couple of buttons. You'd then click save, and then those filters would apply there as well. For now, I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna, again, keep the inventory at the default settings for this account. The last thing I wanna show you is the more granular way you can apply content inventory filters. Let's say for some reason at an account level, you wanna have very restricted or very broad inventory filters, but for a certain campaign, you want the other end of the spectrum. Maybe you're okay with your account going on expanded content, but you have one specific campaign that needs to be more focused. To do that, we just need to head back to Ads Manager. So we'll come up to the high level menu, go back to Ads Manager. Then for the campaign that you want to adjust, you just need to click into that, find your ad set level and click edit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down to the placement section. And down here at the bottom under placements, you'll see this more link. I'm gonna click this to open this up. Now we have an entire brand safety and suitability section in this portion of the interface as well. And everything that we just went through at the account level will also apply at the ad set level. We have the inventory filters here. If I hover over this section, we'll get the edit pencil. Open this up, scroll down just a little bit. You can see that it automatically opened the in-stream and reel section. But if I wanted to adjust the audience network, I could do that as well. And then we can have the same expanded, moderate, or limited inventory, depending on which one you want. Overall, these inventory filters are relatively straightforward, but it's really important to make sure you know what type of content goes in each one. Just like we have at the account level, we can see the list for the in-stream or reels underneath that section. We also have the option to see the audience network list underneath that option as well. So make sure you're choosing the right inventory level that makes sense for your account, for your clients, and keeps your brands safe as they show ads around the network. Just like any other video on this channel, let us know if you have any questions about the inventory filters on Facebook or anything else in the Facebook environment in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. 
If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.